Welcome back. We're out doing some more beaver trapping today. My buddy Dave's not around. I'm out with my daughter, who may be unknown to everybody. But I uh, was out here yesterday, got three beaver out of this spot. <clears throat> um, it was really, really windy out, so you, it was really hard to hear what I was talking about or saying. Um, we came back today, got this guy got an actually got a really nice beaver here in this one set. The other the other ones are are not set off whatsoever. But uh, it's really shallow bank runs on this creek here again. Um, let's see if I can get this. I mean, and it's actually a <laughs> the other the other ones we got out of here were were maybe were maybe uh, maybe larges. But I mean, this is a big big one here. It's got a big tail. Oh. Damn, it's a big, big beaver. Look at that. Thanks, Got it right by the head coming out of this run. Um, in some of, my other, some of my other videos, you'll see I'll turn the trap sideways and put the stick to the spring. That's generally what I do. But uh, when the runs are really shallow, I'll, I'll put them out to the sides and uh, set them like that. So I'm going to take this beaver out of the trap here, slide it up there quick. You guys can get another good shot of it. Is what it is. You can see it's gonna have kits here this spring. That means there's probably one big male left in here someplace. I'm hoping. Set my counter bear right there. Hey, it is a it's a big beaver. You know, probably a solid 55 pounds at least. There you go. Just like that, big tail, big beaver. Oh, I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna show you a quick how to reset this conner bear. And many of you, many, many of you do I have set them like this, but I like to set mine in the first notch. Um, if there's any beaver left in here, and this whole creek is covered, there's no other runs in here. There's probably one inside of this run or one of the other runs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the trap facing this direction so the trigger's on this side of the conner bear. When the beaver comes out, it has to go a little bit farther into the trap before it sets it off. Take off my safety springs here. And if you'll notice I have a piece of wire at the top of both coils here to keep these wires from sliding down. I know I've seen a lot of people that will just take their safety and flip it over. And uh, you know that works, but I've I've had it happen where that safety will flip back or just get knocked. You know somehow it, it'll get switched over. And one of these safeties will get hooked up, and only one of your one of your springs are fire. Then you have a really good chance of that beaver getting away. So I'm just gonna set the trap in the run like so. Put a stick through each side, and it's all it's all it's gonna take. So uh, we'll get this trap reset. And uh, we'll see you at the next set.